and we are back but another episode of Huggins legacy where I try wait didn't I come from here Deke was right we need to save you from these barbarians oh wait oh <gasps> oh, oh snap. my god okay well you better make this happen and get that little dude too hey come on now okay here's all the stuff but hold on oh Niefler come on bro you gotta you, save all three of them you know what's about to happen to you you coming to me come on baby yeah okay and grab these two too you can always give them to the other lady you don't have to necessarily keep them oh yeah I'm totally I'm totally keeping the Niffler save some money wait you have a third puff scheme get him I'm not gonna leave him in here. That's kind of jacked up. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if they found out that by harnessing or like processing magic creatures, he's able to harness because magic creatures are made from ancient magic or something like that. I wonder if that's the um, thing. I don't know. Or he's gonna use them as weapons to control. I mean, one of those two, right? Actually, wait, I forgot. No point in sneaking. One of those two, it's gonna happen. I like how they have money in just a jail cell. It's funny. Revelio. Oh wow, good eye, Kim. Good eye. Okay, thieves. Awesome. Dealer stuff. Ooh, crimson winter coat. Uh, it's green though. I don't think it's gonna be of value. What do you mean? It looks, like it looks cool. Like, yeah, look, it looks cool, but it's not as good. Well, no, yeah, it is. 48 to compare to the other one, they were both the exact same. No, it was down six. See, look. Down six. God, this looks so precarious. Yeah. It's almost like that was made for, like, house elves, that little path. It might have been. Am I going up? Yeah, I'm going up. Hi, Wing. Mm. It's all right. There we go. Another hippogriff, too. <gasps> there you are. Oh, don't leave it. Come on. Hello, Mora. Hurry. Bow, hurry. Stop that. Oh yeah. Nice. I hear I like how I can oh, hear there's... Natty just gasping. I'm shooting kill curses at you. Is this cooler than broom riding or no? I guess it depends on the speed. I have to see how it is relative speed wise. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. They just wanted to build that in. That's all. <laughs> they wanted to get you that feeling of like you're like when you were Harry back in the Harry Potter movie where they're chasing the Hogwarts Express with the car. It's cool. What are you what are you dissing for? I'm not dissing, I'm just saying that's why they put it in here. I think it's funny. Man, if this was me, I'd be totally trying to fly up high and then like have my hippogriff just take shit giant craps. <laughs> so it falls on people. Yeah, you messed up. Oh, see, and then what's that scene in Harry Potter, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, yeah. right? Where he skims the ocean? That's this scene right here. Mm -hmm. How low will they let me go? See? Yeah. But they're totally giving you a lot of Harry Potter moments. It's incredible, isn't it? Well, why would they not give you the scene? This is the first time you ever ride a hippogriff, so they're going to kind of give you the full cinematic run, you know? Oh, no, I totally understand it. 
They especially picked a time where the weather's changing, the leaves are changing, so you get more of a, a vivid landscape, too. Yeah. They totally held this off for so long purely because they wanted to make it like an aesthetic ride. Which I'm not hating on. What is she gonna name hers? Why is one leg bigger than the other? <laughs> How exciting! I name them Chonkers. <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that High Wing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. Oh, snap. Boom. You just ride him around like a little horse steed now. Wing, go! Whee! Ooh, Caligo, look at that. No need to race now, my friend. Well, I should have unlocked a lot of stuff. New beast inventory slots unlocked, so you have more room now. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. Wait for it. Can we get any more letters? Okay, I should be able to transfer. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Um, no. I should be able to trans. Change which one I have. If I go to inventory gear. Oh, flying mounts. So you can't quite do it just yet, but. Oh, okay. So it's gonna make me go. Maybe I have to go to the room requirement first. Probably. Let me see. Uh. Deke wants to speak with me in the room of requirement. Talk to some Deke. Uh, hmm. Astronomy class. Well, astronomy tower upstairs for the entrance room of requirement. I should hear there. Okay, cool. So you could do Deke and then astronomy class probably. Because uh, it's by the room of requirement. This maybe I just go. do astronomy class and then we'll do Deke next because I feel like yeah. Deke's going to lead me on an adventure. Maybe. Let's I guess that's this. true. Let us try it. I don't know if you can fast travel on the... Like I'll the get close, but not like exactly there. Close enough. It didn't bother me. I swear. Good. I wonder what they'll tell me. I'm sure they likely hadn't heard the house called, that's all. Let's we'll see what's going on here. Can I help you? I believe you can. I'm Sophronia, by the way, and I need help from someone who's at least a fifth year. Are you familiar with Herodiana Byrne? <laughs> Don't answer that. Of course you're not. No one seems to know of her but me. She's only the single greatest Depulso master of all time, even taught at Hogwarts, briefly. How interesting. I'm amazed I've never heard of her. It's a travesty she's not more well known. I often read about great witches in my limited free time. There are many. Whilst reading about her, I learned that she built a secret to Pulso training room here at Hogwarts. But in typical clever Herodiana fashion, one cannot access it unless one knows to Pulso, which of course, third years aren't taught. And you're a third year, so... Quick one, aren't you? According to what I've read, her signature outfit may still be there. I would love to see it. Would you get Herodiana's signature outfit and show it to me? If you tell me where to go, I'll see what I can do about it. 
Simply go to the Hall of Herodiana. It's at the base of the Defense Against the Dark Arts Tower. There, you'll find a series of Depulso puzzles, concealing pieces of Herodiana's ensemble. Very well. I shall let you know if I find anything. Yeah. I can't wait to see Herodiana's famous... Oh, wait, it's doing that thing where it's going to make me have to... The only downside when you pick up quests is it immediately changes your track, which copy. makes sense. But with my uh, look for that secret special brain, about. it does sound interesting. It's very tough. Am I going to run up these stairs? Yeah. Oh, I can't. Okay, that's interesting. Revelio. What am I rebelling on? There you go. Oh, there it is. Tapestry. Huh. Wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. Only one can only imagine but he had if he succeeded. Teaching trolls to... Uh... <laughs> That's funny. It's cute. Hmm. Okay, let's learn. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Yeah, I think those girls are checking me out. Mm-hmm. Because I'm the dragon. Oh, it's cold. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. That did not even look good. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours. <laughs> well, you messed up. You went too far. It said that's what you were supposed to do. But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Too much chumps. The cold's good for you. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. 
There's something I want to talk to you about. All right, Booyah. you got any scrolls up here? Revelio. put off my stargazing <laughs> as well as I could. Oh, That's Buster. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. Well, see, bro, that's what you're missing out. It's cold out, which is really good. So it's best to invite ladies out on a cold night. And then they're like, oh, I didn't dress for this. Thought we were going to be inside. And you're going to be like, I noticed. And then you're going to be like, let me offer you my jacket. I'm such a man. And then, bada bing, bada boom. You win. Uh. Fire. Come on, let me grab that. Jesus Christ. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <sighs> A prestige. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Yeah, that's why I'm looking for that celestial booty. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see what this guy's got to say. Where is he at? The Revelio. Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third rate lunoscope. <laughs> But there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well... They are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Do it. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Let's the table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Where are you going? Uh, it is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. What does it say, bro? What is you? Ha ha! Ha ha! A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as... Tidy, as I expected. Incendio. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Probably. Oh, no. Not this close to school, I meet. Look, there's a table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. Yeah, it just sounds like a trap. Put the telescope on the Rebellion. thing. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Put the telescope on the slot. Just use the... How? Oh, do I have to walk around to it? Yeah. I was looking for that X. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. You gotta match it. Can you, oh. ro can you rotate it? As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Uh, 
There you go. There. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Well, there you go. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, I'm so close to leveling up. That is so dirty. Yeah. How is this like a main oh, story quest though? Do get tired of seeing the astronomy Obviously tower. Obviously, you get something at the end of it. What a view. Huh? I think I'm. You're done. Land of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence <laughs> we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? <laughs> oh, but isn't my favorite sick old lady? What's she up to? What's she doing? So I can sp which, which, what are you doing? <laughs> That's so weird. All right, so I think this is probably a great place to stop. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy, Protagonist Jaywalk. And Antagonist Kim. Signing out.